Ladies and gentlemen, when I say Spectra Pro might be a true page builder killer. I really mean it. Now let's take a look at this. Now over here, I have Divi. Now notice these tabs. We have the content tab, we have the design tab, and we also have the advanced tab. So this is where you can go in and do all your customizations. Now let's take a look at Elementor. Similar thing. If we add an element in here, we have our content tab, our style tab, and the advanced tab. So this is what we're going to be looking at when we review Spectra Pro to see if it's really close to what we have in these page builders. All right, so right now I'm on ZipWP. I'm gonna create my website by logging in. So let's create our new site. I'm gonna click here on create new. It's gonna be a blank website. And let's call this Spectra Pro. Create. And now I have my website up and running. I'm gonna do a one-click login. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to install a theme. So I'm gonna come over here to appearance, go to themes, and the theme we're going to install is called the Astro theme. In fact, it might show up here, and sure enough, here it is. I'm gonna click on install. Now, Spectra comes in two modes. They have the free version, and they have a paid version, which is the pro version. So, Spectra Pro is the one that has all, ex all these extra features. So, that's the one I'm going to be looking at. So, I'm gonna go ahead now and activate this, and now we're activated. I'm not gonna go in and do any customizations here, because our focus is going to be on Spectra Pro. So to install Spectra, I'm gonna come over here to plugins, click on add new plugin. I'm gonna search for it over here. So the first sign, if you're going to be taking a look at a product in WordPress, is to take a look at the star reviews. So, so far we can see here the star reviews are good, and this has been installed over half a million times. That's a good thing. So it's a good start so far. I'm gonna click on install, and we're also going to activate it. So quickly, I'm going to now install the pro version. Now, like I mentioned, I have the license. So, so far installing it is very straightforward. Now let's go ahead and uh, install the um, pro version, add new plugin. Now I know I have this in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna go click on upload, choose, and here it is, double click, install now, and then activate the plugin. So first things first, things first. I can see here that the simplicity of the settings page is actually a really good thing because it's not very complicated. Now let's go ahead and paste our license key and activate it. All right, so let's go through uh, these settings. So we have templates, <laughs> which is enabled here, which is a good thing. We also have version control. We also have performance here. Now this is running off of Gutenberg. So speed wise, we don't even have to mention, this is going to be super fast. We also have integrations here. Now I'm curious to see what we can integrate with. So. As we can see, there's a Google Recapture, okay? And we have Instagram accounts. I would have liked to see more integrations here, but let's, let's carry on. We have uh, site visibility. Okay, so this is where we can enable the coming soon mode and the maintenance mode. I like this because we don't have to install an extra plugin to have this feature. Fantastic. All right, so on the editor options here, there's quite a few things as well that we can look at. There's a default width of 1200. We have a container padding, we have uh, dynamic content. So this is pretty cool. We have uh, quite a lot of things here that we can activate. So let's not waste a lot of time here. I really wanna see how this is going to work. So let's go and see uh, what it looks like on the page. So I'm going to add a new page. All right, so let's call this test page. All right, so first things first, you, you notice that we have these icons here on the left. I mean, this is a nice touch because this is like a, like quick access to most of the items that I can use. So if I wanted to add more, I can click on this plus button. I can choose the, um, the item that I want to add. So let's say I use the countdown timer a lot. I can just click on that and now it's there for me. I really like this, pretty cool. So let's start off by adding a container. So I'm gonna click here and now we can see we have a container. This is pretty much similar to what we have with Elementor. So let's go with uh, this one right here. Right, so now it's time to add our blocks. So if I click on this plus button here, I can search for them. But what I notice is if you use this button here, we have all of them. And this is what I prefer. So if you just go to the top left, that's where you get your um, elements that you can, I mean your blocks, okay? Now we're talking about Gutenberg, your blocks. Okay, so here's the thing. If I hover over any of these, I mean, this is very exciting. It gives me a preview of what this item is going to be or what it's gonna look like. Look at this, the buttons, the info box. We have a call to action there. We have an icon. We have a countdown. You see what I mean? I mean, I really love this touch. It gives me an idea of what it looks like. Whereas with the page builders, we have to know what we're using in order for us to 
add whatever it is we need to add. So you can see here we have our marketing button, we have a model. So there's quite a few items here that we can add. So let's say I want to add an info box. You can see it has been added here. So if I click anywhere away, it gives me more screen real estate. And this is a good thing because I don't have to drag anything around to see where my settings are. Because if I click on it like this, you notice now, we are going to have those three tabs. Now remember those tabs I mentioned? These ones here, the content, the design, the advanced. This is what we're seeing over here. We have the general, style, and advanced. So while we have this icon, I can go in easily and just click anywhere in here, choose my icon, insert. Now I can go to my content. So in my content here, I can uh, change this to an H4 if I need to, or an H2. If I go to uh, call to action, I can go in and add the button here if I need to. Look at that, now we have a button. I mean, it's so easy to use. Now let's go to style because this is where we may need to go in and uh, see how we can customize this. So we can play around with the width like that. We have the color here, so we can change the color just like that. We also have the hover state. And you know what, it's very subtle, but it does the job. This is what I really like about this. We can go into the title, change, uh, make changes to our title. We can even change our font here. We can go in, search for, let's say in my case here, I love Poppins, as you know, I'm gonna select it. And now that has been changed to Poppins. And now the weight, we can come over here and choose our weight. Let's say this is 800, look at that. The style, you can make it italic and so on. Now while I'm here, I can change the colors, I can change the line height, the line spacing. I mean, I can add the margins. So there's a lot I can do. I mean, I also have a spacing here. So let's say I wanna add a bit of padding. So let's go with 2%. Look at that, just like that. If I want to increase this, <laughs> this is just like a page builder. Now guys, remember, I've been using Divi Elemental for a very long time and I can find my way around here. So let's say you wanted to add, uh, say on the content here, we want to align it, we can go in and align, I mean, pretty much everything. Now we also have presets, now look at that. I can go in and choose all these different presets. Look at that. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. This is amazing. All right, so on the advanced tab, we also have animations. So we can go in and add our animation. We also have display condi I mean conditions. Look at that. We can display by day, operating system, user role, user state, and so on. We also have responsive conditions. So we can go in, hide on the desktop, hide on the tablet, hide on the mobile. So do you see how we have a lot of... Um, features here that we can go in and customize. And this is super amazing. So let's move on to the next thing. So now that we have this, I'm gonna come over here to Spectra settings. So we have the quick action bar here. We can also add our custom CSS, which I think is also fantastic. Now we also have other features, which are, let me come over here and click on this plus button to add another one. So let me look for a loop. We have a loop builder. I mean, guys, come on, this is crazy. This is what we're getting from these, um, Elemental just recently implemented the loop builder and we have it here in Spectra Pro. Amazing stuff, okay? So I can add my loop builder here. I can go in and, you know, set it all up. And now we're not gonna spend so much time with that because what I need to show you next is going to blow your mind. Okay, so if you wanna delete this, I can come over here and delete it. So let's say, you wanna design your website super fast, you don't wanna waste a lot of time, you can come over here to template kits. So you know how Divi has uh, all their pre-made layouts? They are pretty much complete pages throughout. So what Spectra Pro has done here is they have what, what are known as patterns. So you can choose which type of section you wanna work with. So let's say it's a page header. You just come over here, you can see that, that's our page header, we can go to the about, we can go to services, so you can choose from all these several options of services. Look at that, isn't that cool? So let's say you wanna go with that, you can just insert it and pretty much you are good to go. Here we are on the features, so you can pretty much use any of these. So now that I have my section, I can just go in here and make some customizations to it. So as you can see here, this is brilliant. Now back over here on the template kits, I wanna look at even more options. So here we have complete pages, if you really want uh, to work with pages. So you can see here, this is the home page. we have the about, we have services, we have contact. So you can just click here and import a complete page. And do you notice that when I hover over here, it pretty much does a quick scroll of what the page looks like? Look at that, 
So this gives me a little preview of the page before I actually add it onto my page. Fantastic. Now we also have this option here for kits. Now look at that. <laughs> now these ones here are all these template kits. I can go in and just install the whole thing and pretty much I'm good to go. It's similar to uh, the uh, pre-made layouts we have with Divi. And these are prof professionally made. I really love this. It's very, very nice. All right. So I can also come over here to the settings and I can personalize this using AI. And then we also have the adaptive mode. Anyway, uh, I don't want to go into that yet. So you may be thinking, well, Mac, a lot of these page builders now have AI. What does Spectra Pro have for us? And they have a service called ZipWP. And when you install Spectra Pro and you create your accounts, I mean, you set up your credits and so on, you now have this entry here. You notice that we have this assistant. It is brilliant the way it's been implemented. So let me just show you quickly how we can do that. I'm going to click here on this plus button and let's add something basic like a heading. Or we can even go into this particular item here. Now, do you notice that when I clicked here, it, now we have this little icon. This is the AI assistant. Now, notice now on the side here, it has all the AI stuff. We can fix the grammar. We can make it longer. We can make it shorter. We can translate it. I mean, <laughs> this is brilliant. And here is where you can type the assistant and this will write it for you. So as you can see here, all the latest stuff that we have with the page builders, it also has it. So what really is missing here? So from what I can see, uh, maybe, oh, in fact, before I go into that, notice that we also have the layers here. So if I click on this little item, it gives us our layers. And again, uh, with uh, Elementor, they have it. So let me just show you quickly what it looks like. So if I go to Elementor here, I can click on structure and here we are. <laughs> that's the structure. So that's pretty much what we have over here. With Divi, same thing. If I click here to expand this, I can go to my layers over here and here we go. I can now expand it like that. So it's different in appearance, but it does the same thing. So I can quickly go to whatever it is I want to work with. And the most important thing is Flexbox. It has Flexbox out of the box. <laughs> this is brilliant. I mean, look at this. If you come all the way here to the bottom, we have our flex box, which means we can go in, align stuff the way we want. And over here, if you want to uh, have mobile views, you can go in here, change your mobile view and start working and customizing in whatever mobile view you want to work with. Okay. So it is very, very easy to use. I mean, as someone who has been using page builders, I was expecting this to be a bit difficult to use, but I mean, I'm sure you guys can agree with me. I've just touched the surface. There's a lot more things that we can do in here. But the main thing I was really focusing on was the UI, how it looks, how easy it is to use. And I can say for sure that this is a page builder contender. I mean, this is going to make a lot of noise. And this is just the beginning, guys. This is just the beginning. So the advantages that Spectra Pro has at the moment is speed. Because out of the box, this is working with how Gutenberg was. Uh, created. So they're working on the Gutenberg platform. Whereas if you look at Divi, if you look at uh, Elementor, they have their own code, which is working on top of um, WordPress. So I'm pretty sure all that code is going to have an impact on speed. Whereas here, we don't even need to test this. This is super fast. It's very snappy because it's just Gutenberg you're using. But what Spectre Pro here has done is to make Gutenberg much easier to use and even add more features. So I think this is the future, to be honest. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think about Spectra Pro and what you've seen so far. I think this is brilliant. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. And by the way, I have a special discount. If you guys purchase Spectra Pro using my affiliate link, I will give you access to funnels2income.com because I am going to be playing around with a lot of uh, page builders, how to make money, tutorials, courses, and all that kind of stuff because that is pretty much the bonus that I can give you just to thank you, you know, for purchasing Spectra Pro using my affiliate link. It's going to be in the, com uh, in the, it's going to be in the comments box below. So like I said, guys, let me know what you think. I'm curious to hear what you think about Spectra Pro. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.